In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 14, verses 34 through to chapter 15, verse 11. When they had crossed over, they came to the land of Genezareth. And when the men of that place recognized him, they sent out into all that surrounding region, brought to him all who were sick, and begged him that they might not, they may only touch the hem of his garment. And as many as touched, it were made perfectly well. Then the scribes and the Pharisees who were in Jerusalem came to Jesus, saying, Why do your disciples sort of transgress the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. And he answered and said to them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God? because of your tradition. For God commanded, saying, Honor your father and your mother, and he who curses father or mother, let him be put to death. <clears throat> but you say, whoever says to his father or mother, whatever profit you might have received from me is a gift from God, then he need not honor his father or mother, Thus you have made the commandment of God of no effect by your tradition. Hypocrites! Well did Isaiah prophesy about you, saying, These people draw near to me with their mouth and honour me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. When he had called the multitude to himself, he said to them, Hear and understand, not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a man. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Consume us in the fire of your love, that we may spread the word. In this reading today from St. Matthew, there are a couple of sections to it. The first one, talks about the healing of people, how the healing continues. Yes, he came to the land of Genezareth, and the men that recognized, this is a place that men recognized him, and they spread the word out throughout all the region. And all who were sick came to him, and they begged him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. And as many touched it, were made perfectly well. The faith of these people, if you recall in another part of Scripture where the woman had the flow of blood, she said, if only I just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made well. Showing the faith that that woman had. And here again we see you know, the, the faith of these people who knew about Jesus just begged him that they might just only touch the hem of his garment. And those who did, through their faith, were made perfectly well. And then we read about the problem of overcleanliness. The scribes and Pharisees who were from Jerusalem came to Jesus saying, 
Why do your disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. But Jesus said to them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God because of your tradition? Yes. They made the commandments of God or they made their tradition like the commandments of God. And he gave them examples. For God commanded, saying, Under your father and your mother, and he who curses father and mother, let him be put to death. But whoever says, but you say, whoever says to his father or mother, whatever profit you might have received from me is a gift from God. Then he need not honour his father or mother. Thus you have made the commandment of God of no effect by your tradition. Yes. Jesus said to him, them, Hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy about you, saying, These people draw near to me with their mouth and honour me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. All they give is lip service. Yes, lip service is all they give. But their heart is far from God. The last verse we read is an important message. Not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a man. What comes from the heart defiles a man. An important message for us all to remember. It's not what we take in through the mouth that defiles, but what comes out. Because what comes out usually comes from the heart. If your heart is close to God, then it will be godly. But if it is not, if your heart is worldly, then it will defile you. I urge you all to remember this. Pray to the Holy Spirit. Pray for, the for you to be consumed by the fire of the love of Christ. That you will radiate this light to all the world that is around you. Consume, will consume the fire of love. And so in turn what comes out will consume others around you with the love of Christ. Every day give God the glory and thanks for the blessings he bestows upon you. Glory to God for all things, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. <laughs>